your boy Mac357 and your boy Big Chuck in the building. And we're doing what we do best once again every Thursday as we do what we do here on the Matrix Studios Network. Yeah. As well as 87.9 Real Deal FM. Be in the building, we live. Welcome, welcome to the evening experience, y'all. And we got our DJ in the building. This is DJ Droop. For sure, for sure. Got him out one time. Oh, where do we start? Ooh. A lot of craziness is happening out there in the world. Too much. Um, too much. Uh, we got a president of the United States think that he's an NBA basketball player shooting tissue at people. Disgusting. Yeah, the, the, this, is, this is the loveliness that we have going on. Yeah. Um, out in Puerto Rico, people are suffering. He turns around and tells the mayor that um, not many people has died you know, that died uh, in Katrina. You, you don't have that many. You only got 16, what, 17, oh. somewhere in there? This is the guy who turns around and tries to minimize the devastation that happened with Maria in Puerto Rico. What do you expect? You, you, you're, you're, you know what kind of people he, he goes for. If you don't look like him, if you're not his skin color, he doesn't agree with anything that you guys do. And it's just, that's what it is. That's what it is. Is, is disgusting, but that's what we got to deal with. So if you're not orange, you don't have the opportunity <laughs> to facilitate being uh, one that he takes care of. Orange or red? Yeah. Redneck, red, red, to be exact. To be exact. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's he's shooting paper towels at, at people. Like, it's totally distasteful. From, from, from deep. Like, he really thinks this is a game. He thinks it's a joke. And you still have people defending this man. Like, at this point, I question your morals and values as a human being. You continue to support a man. It's just an, an integral part of the process is where you speak to uh, people dealing with the idioticness of the, 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 the person that is in check. Even his vice president is having problems with it now. They are apparently exclusively, they turn around and said, and I quote that, um, is the idiot in today? <laughs> this is what they call him behind his back, the idiot. That's what he is. <laughs> um, but this is the guy who ran with the idiot. So what does that make you? Idiot number two. Okay. Right. Jack make... has one. Jack has two. Yeah. It's, it's... <laughs> I don't. I don't understand. I, I. It never amazes me though when when you see Trump does this. He's in the news every day. He's the most polarizing, I guess, president ever in a, in a negative way. Right. I was about to say polarizing, not in a good way. Uh, basically, you have people who are standing <laughs> on the morals of, of idioticness, um, standing on you know, the foundation of, of not caring, right. not even being in touch with the people that are, quote unquote, here in the world. Um, it, it, it boggles my mind that people don't seem to understand or want to understand what is uh, happening to our country as we speak. It, and he complained about President Obama. I see nothing of what President Obama has done, even remotely close to what this person is doing. I mean, <laughs> it's like I can't even call him president. The, the, the orange dude. Yeah, I, I, I can't call him president i mean even though that's his title I, I just can't call him that he's just right. he doesn't respect the the office that he's in he's Correct. just making this he thinks it's a mockery it's a joke. yeah how, how were you supposed as the president that's the highest held position in the world in the land like well in the land because everybody has their president and i'm pretty sure they think their president is the highest person in the world as well <laughs> right but, but US, i got what you you know what i mean like we the number one superpower in the world, and mm -hmm. we got a clown running the country. The uh, rest of the world looks at us and laughs at us. Like, I have family members overseas, like, right. what did y'all do over there? What is wrong with you? You are crazy. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? Yeah. Like, Pretty it, doesn't, much. It, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Well, the title President of the United States, basically, is just uh, it's a, it's a mockery title because it's an honorary position. If you dig deep enough or research deep enough, he doesn't really have any say per se. He's allowing a lot of nonsense, though. Like, I mean, him he, he's the face of the government. I mean, and he's a clown at the end of the day. But um, 
It's just disgusting to me, man. He allows a lot of nonsense to go yeah. on. Like, not speaking on the stuff that happened in Charlottesville. You're trying to right. compare one disaster to another disaster. That, how do you do that? Right, it, you people suffering, you can't do that. Well, shout out to Angie Martinez. Angie Martinez has yep. uh, taken up with Title, and they're sending, at one time, they were sending one cargo plane with over 250,000 uh, pounds worth of, of all of the toiletries, clothing, right. things that, batteries, everything yeah. that would help them to survive. And now Tidal has stepped up mm -hmm. even more yeah. and now is sending five planes. Right. Well, shout, shout out to Fat Joe as well. Fat Joe actually initiated the whole um, cargo planes going out there as well. Um, so big shout out to Fat Joe. Yeah, um, as well as, I was getting ready to get to that, but um, as well as the, the other purpose of saying that they did something is because there are a lot of people who still need. Um, it, it doesn't stop with them. Um, they're doing what celebrities are supposed to do if they can and if they feel um, about the situation uh, the way that these two have stepped up and done. You know, um, shout out to Flex, shout out to uh, Tat, Wizza, uh, shout out to all of the people who've been um, volunteering and uh, collecting donations and doing things. So if you have any um, donations, um, do not send them to the Red Cross. Um, <laughs> do not do that. Um, so seek out uh, Angie Martinez's page. Seek out um, uh, Fat Joe's page. Seek out um, the Bronx Borough President. Yep. Um, please seek out their pages um, to make the process happen of helping them to uh, get these things over to Puerto Rico because um, er any and everybody else, uh, you know, is just faking like they're doing something and they're not. Uh, shout out to Apple as well. So Apple has stepped up yep. and has given money in and said any persons that are volunteering in any way, shape, or form, uh, they will uh, match, not just match, but double match any hours of work that you put in right. and any donations that are put in. Uh, in order to help out with um, all of the different victims of the different areas that have been affected by Maria. Like I said, I'm taking Maria out of my vocabulary. Yeah. yeah, this is a time to, to come together, even though, you know, you got the orange dude still trying to divide everybody, is simply trying to divide and conquer. But, you know, love will always conquer all. So just keep uh, doing what you can, doing your part, supporting everybody. Uh, it, it's going to go a long way trust me um definitely put the love in and you know the caring in your heart um make sure you understand that um love goes a long way uh peace goes a long way help goes a long way i don't care if it's a dollar um even if you went around your neighborhood and collected a dollar from each person you know and made sure it got to someone and i'm pretty sure there's hundreds of people in your neighborhood but the hours spent doing it you're doing something that's worthwhile. And if you don't want to do it, send your kids out, you know? Right. It's bigger than just one individual. You know, it's always got to be a collective effort in situations like this uh, where it's just, just something you can't control. A tragedy like a, a hurricane hits, you know? You got to get everybody together, gather the troops together and just, you know, be one and help each other out. It's such a simple concept, just helping people. I don't get it. Yeah. The concept is elude some people at times, I guess, because, you know, it doesn't affect them. Like, I'm not, you know, affected. So why should I come out of my comfort zone? That's the attitude toward police brutality in this country. But, you know, we're going to touch on that. Uh, shout out to the choice of NYC. She did find her mother. Yes. Yeah. Big um, shout out. Yeah. Shout out to her and um, God bless. And I know, you know, things are still needed there as well. So. You know, she has a GoFundMe page up. Um, please check out the Choice of NYC or the Lyrically Live page. You'll see it there. Um, definitely um, help out as much as you can. Um, shout out to Jess Hayes. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Jess Hayes. Um, beautiful young lady that's with her as well. Um, shout out to the Lyrically Live show. Um, that's I, I call them my sister show because... Right. 
two ladies are definitely holding it down. And of course, DJ Droop is there as well. Yeah. All right. Double, it all. double duty, yeah. double dipping. Does it all, back to no back. Um, on a lighter note, um, did before, you hear but, this? Yo, before we get light, we do got to. You want to go heavy again? We got to go even heavier than what we already talked about. Okay, I'm going to breathe deep now. Ooh. Okay. All right. So, to the people of Las Vegas, woo! Y'all. Oh, wow. Y'all got to stay strong. You know, um, prayers and thoughts, which is honestly at this point, it's not enough, but it's still needed. Prayers and thoughts are with everyone that is affected directly or indirectly because when I saw that in the news, that that, that broke my heart. Um, I will say this. I will revisit this conversation at another time um, because I am a gun owner. Um, and we will have a deep and in-depth discussion about uh, what I feel and what I think about the different things that they want to come down the pike. When sometimes we move, we move out of anger, fear, and different other things, and sometimes we need a clear head to think about it. And it's going to take a while for people to get over this. Um, the suffering by one man's hand, um, the idioticness, the, the craziness, I don't know what he was smoking, drinking, or taking at that time to do this. And then the cowardly act of killing oneself yeah. before they could, you know, if you want to go out in a blaze of glory, well, take you, take, no, you didn't want nobody to take you out. You had to take yourself out like a coward. coward. Um, shout out to the UFC. Um, they definitely, uh, Dana White and the Zufa brothers definitely, uh, should I say Zufa, um, definitely took the opportunity to donate money to the families um, and we'll continually uh, do things to help out the families and they're going to get ready to fight there this weekend um, and shout out to um, RT Gun Shop um, my friend was out there at the time that it happened, Deneen, shout out Deneen and her husband Michael um, they were there at the time that it happened um, they weren't in the immediate vicinity but they you could hear right screaming and melee that happened that ensued um all those people who lost their lives all those people who were injured because of the, the rapid movement of people trying to get out of the way of the fire um the gunfire that happened um our deepest sympathies and prayers and condolences go out to those families sir um mm -hmm. I, I i'm still every time and the thing is the fact that i'm starting to say every time it happens like we had Newtown that happened. We had Aurora, Colorado happen. San Bernardino. All that. And it's like nothing's ever done. It's like a rinse and repeat. We send our prayers and condolences and nothing changes. And this is going to happen again. But if you notice all the people who did those mass shootings. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They are uh, mentally ill. <laughs> and also Caucasian. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> I mean, if they look like us, what would they call them? Oh, we would be terrorists. We would be thugs. thugs. We would be gangsters, gangsters. Hoodlums. Hoodlums. Everything in little book. Uh, um, you know, and when I hear about stuff like this, it takes me back to another time. And I know you probably were a, a young man when this happened. If not, you know, it. Um, I'm gonna do that. Diallo. Mm. A lot of people forgot that when they say people, oh, we need to take the weapons away, who's taking the weapons away from the police officers that put 90 bullets into that man? So when I hear stuff like that, and the man was reaching for a wallet. Right. Not a gun. No, he was complying with the... A wallet. This is what I say when I say when people rush to judgment. When the cops are killing innocent African Americans, I don't hear people say, take away your guns. Nope. Matter of fact, some of these people get off and go right back to work. Some, most. If not all. If not all. It's, uh, that's another rinse and repeat type of deal that we have going on in the country. And it's just, especially with the, the idiot we have in there now. Because I, I say this, and I'm not going to go too deep into it. I say this all the time. Guns don't kill people. 
No, they don't. People kill people. That's a fact. It's an inanimate object. It has no life until you pick it up, aim, and fire. Right. So the people who are, quote, unquote, doing these things, are, quote, unquote, making these things happen, are ones in which are making it bad for everybody because there are a lot of gun uh, people around. There are a lot of people who have uh, carry permits, uh, concealed weapon carry permits, mm -hmm. and are not doing this. Right. I've had mine for over 10 years. Right. I'm not going around mass murdering people. Right. And on the flip side of that, too, is, is it's very easy to get a hold of a handgun, any type of gun. In, in the country. hood, like it's it's harder for me to get a bottle of henny than it is <laughs> to get a, to get a gun. If we being real, it's just like what's going on to the to the point where it's like it should not. I should not have to go through trouble to get alcohol. I should have trouble getting a gun. Matter of fact, let's open up the phone lines seven one eight two three nine nine two hundred. Take the opportunity for people to want to call in uh, and basically basically uh, you know chime in on what we're talking about. Um, but I got to lighten up because, yeah. wow. We've been happy um, for about 20 minutes. We need to. We, 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 wow. Um, your boy, not my boy. Who? who your boy. Who? LeBron James. What do you do? And I think uh, the other one is, uh, what's his face? Uh, Russell Westbrook. Yeah, what, what happened? The team captains now get to pick their team. Oh, for the All-Star game? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's lit. What type of craziness <laughs> that's, is that's, this? That's, that's, that's lit. East versus West. Like, we've been... It's been but it's crazy. It's like that. You're making fun. super house, powerhouse teams. That's what the NBA is now anyway, right? Yep. You might as well do it for the All-Star game. You get team captains, and then, you know, boom. You got that. The NBA All-Star game is going to be lit. It's going to be lit. I'm hyped Yeah, East, out. West. I'm East all day, baby. East all day. Yeah, yeah, you know, I rep the Knicks. You know, it's, it's the hometown. You rep the who? The Knicks. <laughs> the hometown kid. <coughs> I'm a choke on that one. <coughs> hometown kid. The Knicks. I already know we whack. And we the gonna bricks. be whack this year. Uh oh. Ooh. We have a caller. Once again, it's your boy Mac 357, your boy Big Chuck. Uh, thanks for calling in to the evening experience. Uh, tell us what's on your mind. I was just listening to what you guys are saying about. Um, about the whole gun thing, I mean, and even touching on the Puerto Rico thing, I mean, you gotta look at it like this. I mean, you know, for one, if there's no profit to be made, you gotta understand, we're going through these countries, we had a, a war, a so-called war with Iraq. We went over there, we bombed them, and what happens after that, we finished blowing their country up. We sent our, our contractors over there to get business deals, to, to rebuild their, their lands at a profit for us. I mean, and if you look at guns, I, I, I for one have a problem with the, the the liberal rules that rule New York State. The fact that we can't, you know, get guns easier because the criminals don't play by the rules. I mean, these streets out here full of you can walk around the corner, walk wherever you depending on where you live at. You can walk down the block or around the corner and go, go up in the project someplace. I ain't trying to knock the project, I'm just saying. <laughs> and do what the hell you want to do. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, for sure. For sure <laughs> Shout bro. out to the PJs. But, 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 but people want to give a hard time to cats who want to do it the right way. These old soft, liberal-ass motherfuckers up here in New York. But he's, well, well, you don't have guns. Well, you, you, you're you a senator. You're a congressman. You're protected by, by, by the military. You, know, like, you, know, you, know, you, know, you got your own police force. So... What about the average citizen going home from work? He should get he should get murked because some some shit wants to rob him. No hell no. Right. You feel me? Yeah, I agree with the caller because I like I said, um, a lot of people don't seem to understand there are ramifications um, to walking. In, you 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 have no choice of where you live unless you have the money or the means to get out. Right. Um, exactly. And then what happens with that? What happens with that? Let's, let's think about that for a second. The whole fact that people could just pick up and move someplace else, they, they make it, uh, you're moving on up like Weezy and George, and they move out of the, out of the neighborhood. People still don't live in that neighborhood. It's because you, you go get a gated community, you don't mean that it stops being that way. I think we start from the inside and work out things to get a lot better. But people want to just dismiss it. Well, I'm going to make my money and get out the hood. And then the hood still stays the hood. For sure. That's, there's, there's so many different factors that go into that. And um, I'm not saying gun violence begets gun violence, but if I'm doing it solely for the purpose of protecting me and my family and not going around going, yo, yes, yeah, son, I'm going to take you down because I could do that. Which a lot of these kids, you know, they walk around like that. 
Like yeah. they own the block because they got a piece on. Them. No, that's that's not even it. These kids are scared. Back in the day, we shot a fair one. These kids don't shoot fair ones. Oh, that's, that's they pull out right. the tool and, and blow you away. They don't. Nobody want to throw hands. Nobody wants to be embarrassed. Nobody want to lose face. I'm, if I get punched in the face and I go down, I'm soft. Back in the day, you got punched in the face. We we, we you know what I'm saying. We shook hands like yeah, right, I respect moving. that. That's you it. got me today. We might now, fight again, but you got twenty me. people jumping you. <laughs> yeah, twenty people jumping you and rounds getting let off. Doesn't make any sense, man. Somebody trying to stab you. Why are you getting kicked and punched by 20 people? Yeah. And, and wait, wait, let's, let's not forget the whole thing. And then the video video recording it or putting it on, on yes. YouTube or Facebook Instagram. so they can get busted. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Stupidity. World star. Yeah, world star. World star. Mm-hmm. Stupidity, yeah. man. And, and who gets paid for all that? The white man. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Call it, I thank you for calling in, and I appreciate you sounding in. You sound like a sound brother. I appreciate yeah, you calling in. For sure. Um, yeah, it's more to be, brother. It's more to be. It's more to be. It's more to be, square. Oh, yeah. It's more to be, brother. All right. Later. All right. Um, so what we're going to do right now is um, we got some exclusives that have come in um, over the time that we've been here. You know. Um, I've had uh, the DJ uh, pull together some... Uh, tracks or whatever the case may be because i definitely want um him to to if you want to say let people know that the evening experience is doing what they supposed to do out here in the world uh letting people uh see all of the things that we have in store um shout out to uh before we get ready to take uh, and play some of that music shout out to helicopter um that's a square, if you don't know. Um, mm-hmm. a, a Masonic brother that I know for a number of years. Um, shout out to him because he used to play for An One. Um, if you didn't know, yeah. Word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, you, you never know, as we always say. That's your man. Who, who's gonna be coming in this building? Word. But uh, I, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, y- you might see. Um, Couple people. You know. Couple people. Couple people. I'm just saying. Nothing crazy. Nothing. You know, nothing. Or could be. You never know. Um, shout out to Adria uh SXO. Um I'm telling you, you you never know who might pop in. Um she is a young lady that's uh, under Gwinnin Entertainment. Uh she's a Gwinnin artist, um, singer, songwriter. Um, she has a new single uh, called Bad Boy, um, and then uh, which is not released uh, totally fully yet. Um, but she did she did send us some tracks yeah. that we can get into some little R and B sexiness, yeah. you know, a little swag um, that I want to pump up because I told her, you know, here's where I like to break exclusives. Here's where I like to take the opportunity to facilitate uh, this type of uh, uh, process. The evening experience is not a regular show. We're not like everybody else you see on the internet or you hear on the radio. We are that show. You want to put your music out. You want to get out stuff out there. You want to pop off. You want to make it look like you you the man. Um, also, shout out to Mr. Cheeks uh, from back in the day. Uh, get a love is a law that we live by. Day by day, I wonder why my shorty had to die. Um, he has an actual tape that has not been released yet, so there's music that's going to be coming out soon. Got that as an exclusive. Um, there's going to be people coming in this building, left and right, up and down, north, east, west, and south. Um, hmm. So you definitely want to pay attention to the evening experience. Like I said, uh, shout out to 50 again. Uh, I know you got 50 Central. <laughs> I, I know you got power. I'm saying this ain't power. We be for power. Yeah. So you know you could do what you do. We the we the pregame. We the pregame. Shout before, out to Streets. We right. Pregame. So uh, shout out to Fifty. Um, they doing big things over there. Um, Yo, know, that brother is like everything he touches turning to gold. Touch the evening experience. We need a couple of Fifty cents. We need we need <laughs> yeah, a lot of Fifty cents. A lot of Fifty cents. <laughs> but we're working on it. Um, so definitely shout out to them. Um, so once again, that's Adria, SXO. Uh, she sent us a couple of tracks and some exclusives. And once again, we're going to let DJ Droop handle that and throw it off right at this moment. Yo, yo, yo. Once again, it's your boy, Mac357, and your boy, Big Chuck in the building. We are back, folks. Uh, once again, that's Adria SXO. 
sexiness, swag. Shout out to my man, DJ South. That brother is winning. Gwinning. I should say he Gwinning. Yeah, he working, man. He's doing, he's doing what he got to do. Um, he was recently on um, Nick Cannon's show. Uh, Wild and Out. Wild and Out. Yeah. Wild and Out. Uh, he, <laughs> yo, they went for the juggler on that show. That that's, that's <laughs> that was funny it. as hell. Shout out to Mr. Conceited. Um, we we'll, might be talking soon. Talk. Yeah, we should be. Yeah. I don't see why not. Um, this is crazy in the sense that, um, shout out to Baby Doll, shout out to Luke Got Cash. Um, they doing big things. He's traveling all over, yeah. um, popping up in every club, every place, um, having them perform. So he's definitely doing right by his artists and definitely uh, getting them played everywhere. Luke Got Cash is definitely everywhere. Uh, Baby Doll, uh, Dream Doll, I should say, is definitely doing what she's supposed to be doing. Um, and, you know, Gwinnin Entertainment is Gwinnin. We need them to Gwinnin. You heard? They, they, they need a Gwin over here. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on that. We're yeah. working on that. Um, also, I wanted to shout out um, next week, next Friday, Friday the 13th. Yeah. I'm going to play Jason. Yes. The evening experience will be at the 803 Lounge, uh, 49 West Feed Avenue. Elizabeth, New Jersey, with DJ Tarzan yeah. and Funk Master Flex. We're going to be in the VIP. Sounds Shout great. out to all those Libras who got <laughs> them scales, who keep it balanced, like myself. Uh, September 25th, baby. Um, and uh, I hit that 4-4. Yeah. So we definitely going to be getting it, you know, popping that night. Um, and we're going to be flicking it up. We're going to be Instagram live in it. Yeah. We're going to be showing you all the venue, the people. Um, we're going to be in that VIP. Uh, shout out to Skits the Visionary. Um, we got a couple of tracks from him that we're going to play a little bit later. Um, shout out to, to just the people in general who watch us every week, who subscribe to our YouTube page. I'm going to tell you all again. If you don't see us live... There's a, always another chance for you to see us. Yeah. YouTube page, The Evening Experience, all one word. Go check us out. We have a lot of different interviews on there. Uh, shout out to Crazy Little Ari. Yes. Um, shout out to Funk Master Flex, who came in here and blessed us. Uh, that's my brother, like no other. And we definitely will be uh flicking it out. Oh yeah, we we, uh, we gonna Friday. see him next week. Yeah. We're we gonna be with him next week. So my brother's gonna be we're gonna be in there popping. We're gonna be in there chilling. Um I tell people, even though it's a quote unquote uh opportunity for us to do what we're doing, um it's work. Um yeah. I'm gonna be having some fun, but it's work. Um we definitely not just there to hang out, but we're there to promote the venue. We're there to support uh G Day Tarzan. Um, not only is it his birthday celebration for himself, but um, as well as, you know, um, he has the next big showcase, which comes on. Check out his page. Follow DJ Tarzan because you definitely, if you got talent, you tell yourself, you know, I got the skills to pay the bills. Uh, I can rap. I can spit. I can do all these things. Well, you got the opportunity to step up. Step and win your game up. 20K. Well, you get $1,000. No. But he has given out. 20k over 20k oh, 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 oh but it's because i'm in the studio you know what i mean I, i've been in the studio <laughs> I, i'm gonna be there so <laughs> doing what i do yeah keep your day job um <laughs> so we, we, we definitely uh want to support that brother um shout out to m rose um oh yeah she is definitely a songstress uh, uh a person with a, an incredible spirit um uh survivor of cancer um definitely be on the lookout go follow her on instagram as well you could sing sang who, who else we got a shout out vina love miss vina love yeah um i just saw her father uh helping her with some of her beats um she just shot the video for air yeah that joint's hot Woo. That's very that, hot that's very hot. hot um yay hey that's kid capri's daughter be nice no, the song, the song, the song. I hear y'all. Now y'all saying the song. Oh, now y'all saying the song. I didn't no, hear the song ever. Sheesh. 
Like I was saying, um, <laughs> shout out to Vina Love and the song Air. It was definitely a pleasure having her. And the only reason why we didn't have her sing is because she was under the weather. If she wasn't, trust me, she is a soulful singer. Yeah. Air is definitely a banger. And we're going to definitely pop that on as later as well. Um, but you definitely want to uh, skits the visionary uh, right now. You can find them on iTunes. Apple Music, um, you definitely want to listen out for that brother as well. Um, Supreme Knowledge is the source. So SKITS is an acronym for Supreme Knowledge is the source. Mm. It's, it's clever. That's clever. It's very just, clever. I just, very I just clever. thought about it. Yeah. I, I, I'm not that creative. <laughs> um, you definitely want to pay attention to him because of the fact that uh, this brother has music. Uh, Stand Firm Entertainment. Uh, you definitely want to be looking out for them. Uh, shout out to my boy, Knock Fly. Shout out to Produced by Knock. Yo, Knock has got a banger out with Chapo at this moment that has over a million hits. I'm telling you, mm. you definitely want to... If you need a beat, go to my boy and definitely, like I said, P-R-O-D by B-Y-N-O-C on Gram. You definitely want to check out his video. Uh, check out our show page because I definitely got one of his joints up there. And I am definitely following him. Um, shout out to C Street, Justice League. Um, the Hands Up video is getting ready to drop. Um, I'm going to need me a ratchet. You definitely want to check that video out. Um, and this brother has just got the clothing line. So, you know. Us Never Them Entertainment. Hey, where my head at, bro? No, this is from before, bro. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh this ain't the new stuff. Oh, I'm about to say. <laughs> I have to holler at him. Where, where my head at, baby? Um, You definitely want to pay attention because all these brothers that I'm talking about are getting it in, getting it grinning, getting it popping, and making it happen. Um, shout out to Drewski. Uh, did I miss anybody? Shout out to Ruben Diaz, Jr., um, our Bronx Borough president is definitely doing big things, um, making sure that he is taking care of this situation in Puerto Rico and not standing idly by like some of the military um, people are, um, some of the different congressmen who are just sitting in their mansions and, and condos and sitting there going, well, I don't know what they're going to do, but I'm going to have a martini. Um, that's crazy. I'm going to have a couple of those next Friday. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> I'm still working though. Uh, I'm gonna be ready. We gonna be ready. We gonna be lit in the building. Um, Do we forget anybody? We shouted out a lot of people. Um, I'm gonna shout out Asia Star. Who's supposed to be here? I got a sketch comedy for you. Uh, show up. <laughs> <laughs> um, you uh huh. You didn't show up, but I understand the filming. She had filming that overlapped what we're currently doing so which mm -hmm. is why she's not going to be here but we will rebook miss asia star i know everybody was like especially the guy you like oh we like the picture she <laughs> yeah and she funny oh and fine okay um we want to see her see she was supposed okay one of these seats she was supposed to sit in mm. but she ain't here but you you gotta i'm looking different okay i, I changed <laughs> the face no okay <laughs> We're going to definitely try to uh, uh, get her back in. Um, but like I said, uh, everybody pay attention. When I tell you there's going to be guests that are popping in the building, we're going to definitely um, have uh, different people popping in. Sometimes it will work. Um, of course, we're in showbiz, mm -hmm. and sometimes it doesn't. Um, if their schedules can't permit or they couldn't get here, uh, shout out to Soulful Journey brand. Um, definitely. So they were supposed to Ho be here. Hopefully they'll be in next week. The Hip Hop Bears. No, no, not next week. Um, mm -hmm. But we will schedule them. Yes, we will. <laughs> um, we, we need some gear. But, <laughs> 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 yeah, I need a size fat. Um, <laughs> hook that up. Um, <laughs> but we definitely will be um, bringing them in as well. Because um, we keep... There's moments where we have like five guests, three guests, two, one, and sometimes it's zero. But either way, hopefully you're entertained uh, by 
the likings of Mac 357 and your boy, Big Chuck. You know, doing what we do as well as my DJ, DJ Drew. Yeah. Um, but we're going to get into some more music at this moment. We're going to get into, uh, uh, like I said, Skits the Visionary. So you definitely want to check him out. Um, he's about to drop those couple of tracks and you're going to hear him. So tell me what you think. Once again, that's 718-239-9200. Please call in. Talk to us. Let us know what you're thinking about or anything. Yeah, holla at us, y'all. Yo, so like I was saying, um, all of this controversial stuff that's going on, once again, shout out to Colin Kaepernick. Yes. Once again, I am boycotting <laughs> football. <laughs> Redskins doing all right, though. But, you know, he's saying. We lost the other day to the Chiefs, but it was a good game. Great game. Um, we suck. But I didn't watch it. I caught the highlights of the scores that they put up online. So um, I am 100% not going to watch. Um, I believe in the knee that he took. Yes. It wasn't a disrespect for the flag nope. that everybody's trying to make it out to be because they don't want to bring light to the fact that African Americans are treated poorly in the United of States. Um, they want to make it into something else. They want to tell us it's disrespectful. Well, when people get killed, what's more disrespectful? Somebody taking a knee during the national anthem or somebody losing their life for no reason? Right. And same people of color that have served this very country come home to N-words and all types of race, racial slurs or whatnot. So I don't understand. Um, I want to shout out Kobe Bryant. That's my favorite basketball player ever. Uh, he recently uh, Michael Jordan. Uh, and I don't Mike. like Michael, but I, if I had to pick anybody, the better player was Michael. I didn't hey, say he was anywho. better. I said it's my favorite player. Whatever. We all know Mike's the GOAT. Kobe's, you know, second. GOAT Jr. That's, that's, that's Chuck's GOAT. <laughs> yeah, that's Chuck's goat you know He's saying? a little Billy GOAT. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you, was, you was my age when Jordan was around. Wow. <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> but shout out Kobe. Uh, Kobe recently said, I think it was, yeah, it was yesterday, uh, that he would kneel during the national anthem uh, if he were still playing today. Um, I really the NBA season starts in two weeks, and I, I really do hope to see um, some protests going on and just people using their voice and continuing to use their voice to you know bring light to what's going on. Because the Association of Basketball, um, the owners as well as the um, what do they call them, the czar, uh, is telling people not to kneel right during the national anthem right i hope you nba players don't pay them any mind because they don't make any money they don't put nobody behinds in the seat y'all do right you have a right to do whatever you want exactly there's nothing in your contract that says you can't kneel so whatever to them yeah um just if you have a voice and you have a platform kind of like how we do use um, it use it man because at the end of the day um a lot of us want the same thing, even though the mainstream media and what you see out there uh, may not necessarily show that. But at the end of the day, we all just want to be treated equally. That's it. Well, we're getting ready to close out in the next few seconds. So once again, it's your boy, Mac357, and your boy, Big Chuck. Next Friday, once again, DJ Tarzan Funk Master Flex will be at the 803 Lounge, 49 West Feet Avenue. And you're going to see the evening experience there. Flicking it up, doing what we do best. Uh, shout out to um, uh, ChrisColado.com, yes, who makes us always look like we're a million dollars. If you haven't watched our promo video, we, we look like we popping. Um, we popping. <laughs> so uh, definitely um, love and respect to all those in Las Vegas, Puerto Rico, um, all of the islands that were suffered uh, by all of the different hurricanes, Texas. Um, all the different places that are rebuilding and we, we send you courage, we send you love, we send you hope, we send you life. Um, that's from the evening experience. So once again, peace. Once again, it's your boy, Mac357. This is the Evening Experience. And one of the sponsors for our show is the Barbecue Rib House in Mount Vernon, New York, 529 Gramerton Avenue. Uh, you can give them a call at 914-665-3490 if you're looking for some of the best barbecue in Westchester. I'm telling you, finger delicious. I mean, succulent. Anything that you want from pork, from beef, from rib, from chicken. All farm animals for that motion. Uh, you definitely want to check them out at the Barbecue Rib House, Mount Vernon, New York, 529 Gramerton Avenue. Once again, check out my boy Marcel Koenig, Barbecue Rib House at Facebook.com.